Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about this very popular cult favorite TikTok social media most popular brand Plan Bag. Now the name of this bag is in French and I can't pronounce it so I'll let the computer do its trick and I'll butcher it along the way. So it's called Numéro un anneau. Numéro un anneau. I definitely did not say that right. But essentially what it means is that it's number one. So Polen is a brand from France. In, I think they have a Paris studio. And the leather they source from are uh, both from Spain and Italy. And this is a very, very popular bag on social media. I've seen it multiple times on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and rightly so. Um, I think people might get a bit sick of it when it's all around social media. But to be honest, it's it's worth the hype, to be honest. And this, this particular design is their number one design, which means their flagship model or probably the first design they have in traditional classic one and there are a number of designs on their website of different pull-in bags and I'm really getting sucked into it and I maybe it's a marketing I don't know but I think quite a number of the bags have quite cool sort of um, designs that I quite like and it's also quite minimalistic so as much as I like my designer brands and the logos I love it and I love that the fact that I can sell my designer brands with a good price if I do want to resell it but I also love this sort of brands where it's more affordable with good quality lettuce so this bag is in the color taupe or taupe but I think it's pretty it's probably meant to be called taupe it's sort of a stone color and I wanted this bag because I was going to Korea and I really wanted a crossbody bag because it's my favorite that is less of a hassle to think about. I don't want to think about scratches and color transfer, things like that. Especially when I'm eating Korean food, there's a very high chance that I'll get maybe um, sauces that will stay in the bag and I'll get worried if I bring my other bags. As If you, if you watch my other videos, you know I'm really OCD about. So this bag even though there is a light color bag and there is a chance of color transfer, there is a chance of um, staining, it's much less ex uh, inexpensive. It's still not a cheap bag, but it's definitely less pricey than all my other designer bags. And I wanted something good quality as well, not something that's um, too cheap that will break apart in a few years. I really wanted something that would last me a long time and will go with me for all my travels. So... Pull-in bag, just going through the bag, this is the front bit, it says pull-in there, it's got a very nice calf skin and quite structured as you can hear and probably scratch resistance as well, so I've been really rough use with this bag when I was in Korea because I was just shopping, traveling, eating and just going on trains, different things and I really didn't have time to look after this bag at all. So that's the side with the stitching. It's got feet, which is great when traveling because they can sit places and, you know, just sort of protect the bottom of this bag. And you can see the stitching here of the leathers itself. And at the back, there's a little pocket as well that you can use for travel cards or credit cards or receipt, but probably not credit card, but transport card and all that stuff. And you've got also a handle and a shrap with gold hardware if you can see it's sort of light gold hardware and a strap that goes all the way around which you can adjust and thankfully this is a good length for my petite frame again five feet one one five five centimeters and you can remove the strap if you want to and just make it by itself to be a handlebag which um, if that's your preference, you can do that. I don't like it because I like crossbody bag. And the front bit here is the bit that you open up. It's a it's not a magnet, sorry. It's it's like a little cup which has a bit of magnet to it, I think. And if you know me, you know I don't take these things out. I just leave them on because I'm that kind of person. 
everyone to himself and it's like a little dumpling inside so the good part of it is as you can see it looks a bit tight so let me take that out that's just the filling that came along with it so it looks a bit tight as you can see for me to put my hands in but the good part is it's already popped when I was taking that out you can unpop these buttons and make it spacious like this so if you can see sorry about the lighting a bit dark like that so that's quite a bit of space in there there is a pocket in there as well and inside is fabric line same sort of color and you can pop this back and make it smaller if you like and you can see from the hardware here it says pull in and look at that so it's a bit smaller when you put it on and it's just got a cuter look like a dumpling when you put it on but if you unhook it then it gives you like a more relaxed look so it becomes more different look like that so it just sort of wider wider and um, different kind of look but still got a bit of the dumpling look to it and let's put it back and compare it again so when I was traveling I really kept the buttons unbuttoned so it looks like that um, because I just want an easy access for my hands in and out. And this is the mini version. I forgot to mention that. This is the mini version, so it's smaller, but there is a bigger version as well. But I just need a small one to travel with. Now, with regards to the leather, really, really good. Very sturdy, as I told you. I saw a video on TikTok. There is this guy, I don't know his name, but I will, I'll put his name down in the description box below. But essentially, he cuts open all different types of bags, including luxury bags. So including like Chanel and all that stuff. And he evaluates the leather and see whether they're good quality or not. And um, whether how trustable these guys, I don't know. But it's pretty cool that he t cuts it up and gives his evaluation. And his review on the pull-in leather was really, really good. And it was on par with all the designer brands as well. It's just whether you like this sort of look. And of course, there are other designs that are really well made as well. So I definitely um, suggest that you check out all the other bags as well. I am not sponsored. I am a small channel. I don't get sponsored for anything. So my review are completely honest. And I, you know, overall, after using rough use for two weeks in Korea, it has really stayed well. I didn't look after it at all. I didn't look after it like my other bags. They all pretty, there's no color transfer, no staining, nothing at all, no scratch even at all, which is great. And I would really recommend this bag if you want something that's simple looking, um, but good quality leather, got a lot of functionality in terms of you can put quite a bit of stuff, you can change the look a bit, you've got a shoulder strap, sorry, you've got a handle and you've got a crossbody strap as well. These are all really good features for a very functional bag and you know, it's not got all the logos and stuff that you be worried about that people recognizing it, especially I think if you're traveling to a country where you think it's not entirely safe and you want something that's less um, uh, logo, less sort of, you know, attract attention, less attention tracking, attracting um, so this would some, be something that I would recommend. With, because of the leather quality itself, I would think that this will last you for a long time. And just a bit of a warning, if you go into the world of Poland and start seeing all the bags and you know actually having one, you might actually get sucked into buying more. Because all their bags have just really cool designs. I really like the one that looks like a dumpling. And I like the one that folds together I like the tote bag as well I'm liking a lot of them but they're not exactly the cheapest I live in Australia and I think this was about $500 from memory when I bought it so it's not exactly the cheapest bag but for its quality it's definitely worthwhile I would say so I would definitely recommend this um, lastly I picked this color because I really like tote color in general I'm guilty of liking a lot of type color things and I really should stop buying type color things but this is 
one of my favorite colors on bags because it's so neutral you can fit into a lot of different outfits as well with this taupe color bags but yeah i hope you enjoy this video i hope you find it helpful if you like it please sub Please support me by liking and subscribing to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.